I just wanted to tell you one thing about the importance of the tefillah of a woman. A woman belongs to the words of the tefillah of Rosh Hashanah and Aseret Yemei Tshuva, Zohrenu Lechayim, Melech Hafez Bachayim, Vechotvenu Besefer Achayim, Lemaancha Elokim Chayim. Only a woman knows with her body what it means to be Zohrenu Lechayim, Ribono Shel Olam, it's worth while for you to remember me because I'm here to bring more life to your world. I've never seen a woman coming to me and asking for a bracha for herself. A woman is always for the life of those that are around her. Zohrenu lechayim, for those who live around me. For 19 years, Baron Hannah is davening to have a child, and she is not being answered. Eli is looking at her, and he says to her, you are drunk, because the characteristic of a drunk person is that he sees only himself. Don't you see the shame you are doing to your children, the way you look? He can't see a thing. He is self-absorbed. Elise is looking at this woman and says to her, until when are you going to daven for yourself and for your needs? And she says to him, you are very, very wrong. I want life so I can bring more life to Am Yisrael. This child will be given to HaKadosh Baruch Hu during all his life. I'm so sorry, says Eli HaKohen. Yiten Hashem et shelatech asher sha'alt me'imo. It means Hashem will give you what you asked for. But the word she'elatech is written without aleph. She'elatech. And Chazal explains that he says to her, you will have a shilia. You will have a placenta. Did she ask for a placenta? She asked for a baby. No, Chazal tell us, when a woman is asking to have a child, she wants the power to nourish, the power to give life to someone else. Why do we hear the shofar on Rosh Hashanah? Chazal teaches it's the voices of cries of the mother of Sisra when he was late from battle. She waits for him. He doesn't come. She starts crying. But she was so wicked. Her son was such a wicked person. And Chazal tell us when a mother cries for a son, for a daughter, for someone else, it's holy. Why do I say it to you? Because in a few days, you are going to find yourself in such a rush and you are going to be ashamed. It won't be books of life or death. It will be cooking books. You'll be busy with cooking. How am I going to do it three days? What a shame. And Hashem says to you, uh-uh. This is the ultimate zochrenu lechayim because you are the placenta. You are the nourishing person. You are the one that all she wants is to give life to those that surround her. And whenever you make those holy preparations of the food for Rosh Hashanah, of the house for Rosh Hashanah, you should know that up there, Hashem holds for you a glass full of wine, telling you, Lechaim, Lechaim Isha, Lechaim.